What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today you're joining me with a 2024 Tesla Model Y long range rear wheel drive. The cheapest and the longest range new Tesla Model Y that you can buy. Uh, and we're gonna be doing a 70 mile per hour efficiency run. And what is an efficiency run? Well, we're doing about 50 miles round trip um, to counteract wind and elevation. I have the tire pressure set to factory recommended pressure of 42 PSI, uh, and we're going to be seeing what kind of efficiency we get. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time for a full 70 mile per hour range test, but with this data, you can somewhat extrapolate reasonably accurately what the efficiency or what the range should be. Um, I've also done a full range test on the software locked version of this car. So the former Model Y rear wheel drive versus the long range rear wheel drive. So that should be a good data point as well. This is basically just the fully unlocked version, same battery and everything. Um, so we're gonna do 25 miles out, 25 miles back uh, at a constant 70 mile per hour GPS or 71 mile per hour uh, indicated. Uh, we're just going to set autopilot and go. So let's get to it. We're going to hop on the interstate. It's about probably half a mile or less onto the interstate. And then we'll flip around at an exit and have as little downtime as possible just so that we're at that 70 miles per hour pretty much the entire way and see how it does. So I've just set and reset a trip. We're at the Charlotte North Lake Supercharger, but I'm not going to navigate back. Um, so I'm navigating out to a point and then we'll navigate back and I'm navigating to the REI that's just on the other side of that truck. So that way uh, it does not precondition or anything and we'll see what kind of efficiency we get. And let's put it into drive, we'll reset. It only counts energy used when in drive. So let's get to it. So as I mentioned, very quick jaunt onto the interstate. Um, we'll be right on there and then we'll accelerate gently aim for 71 miles per hour indicated by the end of the on-ramp uh, and then just sit there basically. Uh, let the car do its thing, make sure it actually maintains 71 miles per hour on autopilot, that it, we're not sitting behind cars, that we're not drafting. Uh, we're gonna have air conditioning set to 68 auto, um, which is pretty comfortable and just continue on. And just like that, we're getting onto the interstate. So we will merge on here um, a little bit of slow traffic ahead of us just as we're merging on, but that's fine. We'll get up to 71 miles per hour indicated as quickly as we can because that is 70 miles per hour actual in a Tesla. So we'll get it there. And just like that, we are set. Get out from behind this trailer and just cruise along, try and not be a hindrance to traffic. Traffic tends to move pretty quickly on this route, but um, yeah, just sit and cruise without people ahead of me as much as possible. We are turning around now. We have 262 watt hour per mile average so far, over 27 miles. Um, I did end up pushing the turnaround point a little bit further. Um, here you can also see FSD beta doing its thing. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this stop because otherwise it's going to think we actually need to stop there. Um, but luckily it's in the correct lane. So we have 27 miles back. Uh, it's projecting we'll arrive with 77%, but 253 watt hour per mile. Um, here you can see, so that was before we started the test. Um, this is on 30 mile and you can see the slowdown um, but yeah, overall feeling really good about this test so far. And I think it's going to be very representative of what you can expect in the real world at 70 miles per hour. So see you guys when we get back, but so far going really well, traffic is cooperating, um, and flowing pretty well. So 26 minutes to head back and then I'll have to return this car back to Tesla. And merging back on with FSD again, this little bit of a slow car ahead of us, but Looks like traffic is flowing pretty well, so we should be able to get up to and maintain 70 miles per hour pretty easily. Um, and yeah, 26 miles on 485, we just cruise along at 71 indicated, 70 actual. Just getting off the interstate, 
almost back to our starting point. We're at 254 watt hour per mile. Um, we're basically using rated efficiency here. Um, 53.9 miles driven, 18.2% of the battery used, um, which is 1.2% more than rated consumption, as you can see there. And there's the test 253 watt hours per mile. So really impressed with that. Uh, and that kind of implies that this would be a pretty easy 300 mile car uh, if you were to extend that out. Well, you're joining me after returning that long range rear wheel drive Model Y. Um, I wanted to crunch the numbers a little bit on the 70 mile per hour versus my 10% challenge um, 80 mile per hour efficiency because those are relatively comparable. The 80 mile per hour run was longer, the 70 mile per hour run was shorter. Um, but both, I think, are decent data points on the efficiency at the different speeds. Um, so if you're not familiar, 10% challenge is run at 80 miles per hour. You basically charge 15 minutes from 10%, uh, and then depending on how high it gets, you then drive at 80 miles per hour to get it back down to 10%. So um, you'll have to watch the video for the result of that. Um, and that will be linked in the spreadsheet down below and in the description down below. I'll probably put a card as well, so definitely check that out. But um, you're going to be seeing some data here. And 70 miles per hour, so we did 253 watt hours per mile. And at 80 miles per hour, we did 313 watt hours per mile. And I crunched some numbers on what that actually translates to in the real world. So this long range rear wheel drive when it's brand new, Model Y has about 79-ish kilowatt hours that are in the vehicle usable um, with 3.6 kilowatt hour of that being a buffer. So technically you can use it, but it's below zero. So I, I don't really count it. Um, so you basically have 74.4 kilowatt hours of actually usable battery capacity um, on this battery. So at 70 miles per hour, that translates to 294 miles of range. And at 80 miles per hour that translates to 237 miles of range with some decimals in there. Um, and what that translates to is that for 200 miles, so a reasonable trip, um, you're using 50.6 kilowatt hours at 70 miles per hour or 62.6 uh, kilowatt hour at 80 miles per hour. And that's about a $5 difference if you're paying for supercharging. So that really does skew it a little bit. Uh, as far as time, so for a thousand miles, so kind of on the longer trip, uh, you're looking at about a two hour time savings at 80 miles per hour. So it could actually make sense, um, but you are paying about $24 more for that thousand miles. So there's definitely some give and take here as far as what speed you should go. 75 is kind of right in the middle and you get kind of the benefits of both. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, I, of course, didn't factor in charging because that's super variable depending on how low you go and how high you charge and things like that. And definitely if you have to deep charge in order to do the next leg that you're trying to do, it's probably not worth uh, having to charge higher to go faster versus just driving a little bit slower and not having to charge as deep. But Every situation is a little bit different. We'd love to hear what you guys think down below uh, as far as strategy. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if this video helped you decide to buy a Tesla, please consider using my referral, which is linked in the, in the description and in the pinned comment down below. See you guys next time.